My friend was shouting, Prof, help me, save my life. You are a professor. You are well recommended. Save my life from this sickness. But Prof said, at this moment, I don't know what else to do. At this moment, my training can't help me. At this moment, my, my knowledge can't even help me. Yes, I'm a professor. My skills, at this moment, they have failed because I cannot do anything at this moment. That was the same situation the disciples of Jesus Christ were. At that moment, their professionalism failed. At that moment, their experience, their knowledge, they cannot even apply their own skills because the storm was heavy. It was unusual. Secondly, the disciples of Jesus Christ were ter terrified despite their professionalism because of when the storm happened. The Bible we read said at the fourth watch of the night, Jesus started walking towards them when they were battling with storm. Now according to Jewish timing, the fourth watch of the night is between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. It therefore means by our own human calculation that the storm must have started around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. for Jesus to come towards them around 3 a.m. So at that moment, it was a lonely time. It was not a time to go fishing. It was not a time to seek any help because you will not get anyone. People will say that the best time to fish is late hours of the evening or early hours of the morning. That's when to go fishing and you'll be able to get plenty. So at that moment, even if they cried out, they were not fishing men around to help them. At that moment, it was so dark. They couldn't even find their way. Such that when Jesus Christ was walking towards them, it was so dark that they couldn't recognize his presence. And they took him for a ghost. It was so dark that at that moment, there was no way they could go to find help. Even if they cried that nobody was there. Have you ever been in such a situation? There are up to 8 billion people in the world. Or something could happen to you in life, you feel so lonely and alone. You feel abandoned. There are people around you, but their presence don't make any sense. You are suffering, you are going through hell, but nobody around you seems to understand what you are passing through. You are crying, but nobody is hearing your cry. You are calling for help, but there is no help coming around. Everything seems so dark. Everything seems so, you seem so lonely. Even the presence of God in your life at that moment wouldn't make any sense to you. You will not even be able to recognize his presence because the situation and the timing is so overwhelming to you. That was what the disciples of Jesus Christ were suffering. Finally, the disciples couldn't handle that storm because of where it happened. Where did it happen? The Bible we read said they have gone far into the sea. Some persons of the Bible will say it happened at the middle of the sea. And then to make it clear to us, it described the wind as headwind, meaning that it is coming from their front. Therefore, it makes forward movement impossible. They can't go forward at that moment. And because they have gone far into the sea, is it a time to turn back again? To go back from where they started? They can't continue and they can't go back. They were stopped, they were trapped. If it had happened at the beginning of their journey, they could have just turned back to, to where Jesus was. But it happened at the middle when they have gone far. The Bible was so clear that they have gone far. <coughs> Some things will happen to us in life and we feel trapped. We look at our, we look at our, the front, there's no possibility that you're going to continue. Do you go back? You have gone a long way. Do you abandon the project? What do you do? You feel trapped. The options are zero. What do you do at that moment? Dear friends, storms are part of life. You will meet it. Some will come in signs, some will come sudden. Some will be light, some will be heavy. 
Some could be manageable, some could be so violent and destructive. What do you do? Especially when all your training, your talent, your professionalism, and all you could ever do is not giving you the answers. What could you do? What would you do when it's happening in such a way that there is no help around? What would you do when you think that you can't proceed and you can't even go back to give up? What do you do? Peter did something. When Peter found out that found that his professionalism as a fisherman wasn't helping him. And looking at the time when the storm happened, he couldn't get the help from fellow fishermen. And looking at also where they have, where they were, they can't go back. What did he do? He shouted, Lord, save me. That is one of the shortest prayers in the Bible. But he received the quickest and the fastest response from God. Immediately he shouted, the Bible said, at once, Jesus held him. I said, boy, What do you do when storms come your way? It is beyond you to handle, to manage. It seems helps are not coming around. You feel so alone. Can we do what we can do? Lord, save me. And that has become my prayer. That with my training, my knowledge, my experience felt me, I still have one option. When the timing is so bad that there is nothing else I can do, there's no one to help, I still got an option. When I have gone so far that giving up is the only possible solution, I have got one solution. And that is the solution of Peter, Lord. 